Hey everyone. Today we're going to talk about building a Hoff Lord. Hoff is uh, a Hall of Faces Lord. Uh, as you can see by the screen I've got up right now, the Hall of Faces offers you buffs um, based on the number of lords you've executed. Each lord counts for 24 hours. You can have up to seven days worth. Uh, you can actually increase the amount of time that a Lord Execution gives you the buff, but that's pretty late research. So, uh, Level 25, you get total attack, defense, and health of 38%, and marching speed of 21%. That's a pretty significant buff. Now, the reason you'd want a Hoff Lord is the time it takes to execute changes depending on the level of the Lord. Now, this is some confusion amongst the community that it has to be as low as humanly possible. I've seen people say it has to be level 4 or 5. That's not true. Any Lord level 15 or below will have the minimum execution time, which is 2.5 hours. Uh, by contrast, a level 60 Lord is one day and 20 hours before you can execute. You can't bubble while holding lords or you'll release them. So the goal here is to get as many, or sorry, as short of execution time as possible so you don't have to leave yourself at, uh, unprotected for too long. Uh, so if we go to our dungeon here, you see we've got two lords here, two hours and 17 minutes, two hours and 20 minutes. I've had them for a little bit. So once I execute those two, I'll add two more days to my buff. The buff doesn't get stronger. It always remains that 38%, 21%. It's just the amount of time you have the buff gets longer. So creating a Hoff Lord can be pretty advantageous because there's a couple of reasons for it. One, you control it. Um, and you don't have to hold another player's Lord, which is kind of important. Holding somebody's Lord is a really significant damage to what they can do. Their talents don't count anymore. Their Lord equipment doesn't count anymore. They don't have the Lord for attacking. So doing anything at all, building, researching, attacking, it, it all gets training troops. It, it all gets really significantly reduced. And you want to avoid that if you can, really. Uh, there's situations where you want to hold somebody's lord, but most of the time you want the buff. You don't care about holding the lord. So let's take a look at uh, at a half lord that I just finished. So when new accounts are created, they're put on one of the higher, newer kingdoms. That's not going to do you any good. You want that half account on the same kingdom as your main account. When you first start, you're going to get a novice transfer item. And that is good until castle level 5 or lower, and it goes away after 7 days. Now, no worries. You're going to be able to create a, create a hoff in way less than 7 days with just minimal effort. This one took a little under 48 hours to create. So one of the first things you're going to do once you're able to get to the world map is go to the kingdom that you want the Hoff to be on and relocate it there using the novice transfer and then it's free. You don't have to spend money. You don't have to save alliance coins or anything. Um, so your only goal here is to get the castle to level 17 as fast as possible. So what you want to do, this one's already 17, but you want to click on your castle and see what your requirements are for the next level. And then you go there. And then, okay, I can take the warehouse up to 17, so I would upgrade to 17 if I were still building this account actively. The buildings you need to upgrade, you need your warehouse to level 11, your mint and farmland to level 12, Meister Tower to 13, Market to 14, Lumberyard and Hospital to 15, and the Rookery, Barracks, Wall, Mine, and Quarry to level 16. Those are the only buildings you really need to worry about upgrading. Now, I'm going to touch again on that idea that you have to be as low level as possible. I'm going to disagree here. 
you'll notice that this hop happens to be level 10. And there's a reason for that. The reason is you want your building speed as high as possible. You're going to get a ton of research speed ups as you do things. The only research you care about is, of course, building speed under production. Um, and I kind of got off topic there, but yeah, you want to get your building mastery up to level six. That's as high as you need it without upgrading the Meister Tower and other, which is a waste of normal speed ups. The reason to take your Lord level up is talent points, which of course I can't show you on here because this Lord happens to be in jail. But if you get to level nine Lord, then you can max that first construction speed bonus. Um, and that, again, is important. The faster you can get these buildings to finish, the better. Another thing that's quite important is joining a good alliance. Most alliances hold spots for transferring gold and resource alts in and out. Um, so you're usually going to have a spot to put your Hoff in a good alliance. The reason to do this is the alliance gifts add up fast. Uh, lots of speed ups, lots of diamonds in a good alliance. Um, so you can use those things to burn through these buildings quicker. Excuse me. Plus the fact that you're going to get helps from your alliance mates burning off even more time in these buildings. Like I said, I put this alt in NDM in a little under 48 hours with minimal effort. It was a level 17 finished awful. I wouldn't go a whole lot above level 10 um, just to give yourself some buffer because if you do happen to do that 15 to 16 upgrade even by mistake, now you've really extended the amount of time it takes to execute that forward. Uh, you want to keep it 15 or below. So as such, uh, things like Weirwood don't do it. Uh, there's no benefit to having tons of commanders or upgraded commanders on this account. Uh, don't collect your alliance quests. Don't collect your main quests. Collect enough to get to that level 9 or 10. And then that's it. Same goes with your story quests. You want to get to chapter 3 so that you're allowed to join an alliance. Um, everything after that, just ignore it. Watch for any events that happen. Now, I happen to get really lucky on this one. I started building it during Battle of the Long Night. So I could do just enough things to buy those 50 speed ups, 50 hours of speed ups. That really helped. Uh, do whatever you can in things like the Aria quest just to get any extra resources, speed ups. Make sure to collect your chests. Um, it's basically like building a normal account, but you don't need to go overboard. You don't need to jack up all your resources. You only need to build, beat the first two stages here to get the buildings you need for upgrades, for example. Don't worry about training grounds. You're never even going to beat the regular um, guards. You're not going to get into the diamonds anyways. Not worth the aggravation. Uh, so yeah, that's that's really about it. There's there's not a lot to know, um, and and the benefits are huge. Like you can, if you your alliance has enough Hoff accounts, you can load up with seven Hoffs, wait two point five hours, execute them all. Now you've got your Hall of Faces buff for a week. Oh, um, one other thing on the merchant ship. Buy any speed ups. Don't worry about buying any other resources. I'd buy two a day just so that you can get your uh, your active rewards. It's really just like anything else. Pay attention to the account. Pay attention to the quests that are going on. Do the things that will give you bonuses in speed. Um, as far as diamonds go, it's my personal opinion you want to get to about VIP 6 or 7. 8 is really nice. I think it's 8. Is it 7? Quick play my eyes. Yeah, it's 8. 
where you can quick claim all the alliance gifts. That comes in really handy. But it's kind of a balancing act of how many diamonds you want to spend doing that as compared to using them for speed ups. Um, again, I got really lucky on this account and got a few quests that gave me a whole bunch of VIP points. But the faster, the higher your VIP, the more speed up time you get, uh, really comes in handy. So yeah, that's it. I hope that uh, that answered some questions. It did get rid of that one uh, misconception that you had to be a level four or level five that everybody really seemed to have. So if you have any questions, make sure to uh, ask in the comments. Give it a like if you found this helpful, and uh, have a great day. Thanks.